you said you wanted to do film. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Did you study? Film I did. Well? I studied film. Yeah, yeah. That's because you, you met each other at at university, right? Or uh, while yeah. studying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone was trying to study in different. What were you studying? Sociology. Sociology. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lando did all illustration, and he still does actually. He still does a lot of kind of illustrating and stuff. Um, so I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like at the moment, it's very much a full-time job, you know, the music. But I think there might, there might get, it might get to a point where it's kind of there's a bit more time freed up to do other things, mm -hmm. like that people might want to do. But did one of you finish university? Yeah, yeah. Finished, yeah. yeah, I finished as well. Yeah. Oh, did you finish as well? Yeah, yeah. Got a degree. Did you really? Yeah. What did you get? What result? Yeah. Uh, two one. Two one. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! Thanks. You never discussed this before. That's hard to. Oh no, yeah. Um, yeah, was well, Sam joined when we were writing the second album, and we so we'd known him for a long time, but I didn't realize he'd finished it. Or yeah, yeah, I'd finished it before. before that, yeah. But initially, you moved to Brighton to study, and then you you. Well, we kind of like we we all lived in South London, and we got a band together, but we Lando moved to Brighton to do illustration. And so we decided we'd just kind of follow in order to keep the band going. And that ended up, we ended up starting doing various degrees which we never finished. And that ended up kind of making the band's name in Brighton. And you're still living in Brighton together? No, we've got to move back to London now. Okay. Apart from Hugo's in Brighton. But one of the things of, I think, coming from London is that it kind of pulls you back there eventually. Mm -hmm. And are you planning far ahead? Uh, when it comes to the band, and uh, playing well, and make a writing sessions. Perhaps? Yeah, I think we're writing the next record, and uh, that, yeah, that's as far ahead as you can think, really. But it's definitely a lot of thought into just pro progressing and bit just keep becoming a better band and kind of growing into ourselves and what we're going to do next, you know. Um, so. And do you already know what that is? Uh, kind of vaguely, but it hasn't. We haven't put enough of the album together to kind of really get a sense of it, but. So it's still in a kind of, yeah, it's a kind of not quite a tangible thing yet, but it's really exciting making a new record. I'm ex really excited by what I've heard anyway. Because you, or you, you played together with a, with a brass section as well, and on the last album there were also some, some brass yeah, things. We just, yeah. W would you want to play with, a, with an orchestra? I think there's definitely going to be, I don't know whether there'll be an orchestra, maybe there will, but it will be more... Um, I think there's a kind of bit more scope for us to go off at kind yeah. of tangents. That's the thing, as you progress and kind of change, or like it's almost like an evolution, like you, there's, you get more opportunity to kind of branch out and try out different things. Like at the moment we're looking at other instruments and stuff and adapt, like adapting some parts which would normally be um, guitar parts to play on like, you know, different instruments such as like brass or strings or whatever. But yeah, we haven't got that far into the like, Development of the album to really. I like think I think awesome. we I think we felt like we earned we earned being a, the second record kind of stayed with us as earning what we did well. Do you know what I mean? And you've got to keep pushing yourselves a bit. And what other instruments are you planning to use, or are you already using? Well, there's a lot of because um, we're writing a lot on um, each other's computers, you know, and doing it in pairs and things like that. So it's a kind of a little bit more. Um, so rather than just doing, you're playing guitar, you're playing a bass, writing like that, it's kind of more with sounds, you know. Uh, so I think there's, like, there's a lot of things you can do with a guitar other than just plugging in and playing it, you know. And that's an exciting thing in itself. So. But you're getting into more electronic things then? Some electronic not, things, not, yeah. I think, not, like, I think more than anything, it's kind of just getting into more records. Like I listen to um, Remain in Light by The Talking Heads and Low by David Bowie. Um, and then like uh, talk talk like uh, Spirit of Eden and kind of those kind of records and I think you just kind of understanding of what can be achieved is broadened the more you listen to more music you know it's just as simple as that I think. And uh, well, Wolf Arms really set you up high or that they, they really set a, a standard. I hope so. For yourself, I think. Um, um, what what did that record make possible uh, in terms of? People who ask you to work with them, or because I I bet there are some like producers who really want to work with you because of what you've done on World Farm. Yeah, maybe. Do you get offers? Um, we haven't started really thinking about producers for the next one, so I don't know really. And it's kind of funny because people say those things, but 
we just sort of go to rehearsal with each other and it's about it. So you don't really have any other, other understanding outside of that, of what people think of it really. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you listening to anything I just said? Yeah. It was well, cold. Yeah. Can you say what he just said? Yeah. Uh, no. That wasn't, it was very interesting. I, I can't even remember what I just said. Right. But do you have like a list of criteria a new McAbee's album should have to live up to? I think it's just, it just, will be better yeah, than be all the bands. Yeah, be better than the last one. Like that was the only thing we wanted, yeah. It, it def- it, we won't put it out unless it's a, a, a kind of an ev- musical evolution and it's got better songs on it. Mm-hmm. But does musical evolution mean change? Because for some bands it's like they, they just want to set a, a oeuvre that's almost the same, that all, all records are almost the same. But yeah, it, it does mean change because there's 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 yeah, I think yeah. there's a never ending you know, scope of what you can do with a record. I think we get bored as well if we kept doing the same thing over and over again. I'm, so, I'm amazed like how, I mean I don't understand how bands who do do the same thing over and over again don't get bored of it. But like the Smiths did, for example, and that's quite yeah. so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad, but then... It's the Smiths. Yeah, they kind of did to an extent, but the, you, there, there is a kind of s- subtle evolution in the Smiths, I think. It was much more primal to begin with, and there's, there's a lot more textures in the guitars and as the records go on and stuff, which I think is just a, uh, becoming more understanding of what you're doing, and I think you can sense that. But it's a really s- subtle evolution. It's a subtle thing, but it's still, I, you don't have to... Yeah, I don't think you don't have to throw the kitchen sink at it to progress, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, Tom. <laughs> yeah, nice one.